Hello guys, I'm OIW13. Do you guys wonder about the detection range of your favorite ship? Do you have the experience lab being spotted at a distant light you saw was safe? Well, there's a good news here. This video is aimed to solve these problems and give a general method to estimate your ship's spot range. Let's us begin. If you search the Star Citizen Radar System's information in Google, you will mostly find that plenty people say the detection range is determined by max value product radar constant equal to detection range, where the max value is the target ship's max emission value. It can be IR, CS, or EN. For radar constant, it's determined by the radar size. However, you may find that radar constants have different values. Some may say the size 1 radar constant is 0.85. Others may say it's 0.5. In this video, our first objective is to confirm whether the detection range equation is true. If the equation is true, our next objective is to find the radar constants with the size of the radar. Our test method is simple. First, we will let the target ship face at the 180 degree orientation and the pitch stay at the 0 degree. Next, we let detector face at the 0 degree orientation and the target ship. Then, we choose a desired pitch angle and let the detector backward until the detector can no longer radar lock the target. The maximum distance that can lock the target ship will be set as the maximum detection range. The pitch angle we choose is 0, 15, 13, 45, 16, 75, and 19 degrees. After acquiring all the maximum detection range data, we will plot into a dead figure, use land, and the detection range equation to calculate the radar constant at a different angle. If the equation is true, we should find a straight horizontal line in the maximum detection range versus the radar constant diagram. Two things need to be noted is, first, the following experiments are done in 3.21.1 PU environment. And second, these experiments are done in 5 to 87 FPS. Our first experiment uses Gladius as the detector. The target ships include Gladius, Aero, Cutlass Black, and the Reclaimer. One thing that needs to be noted is only Gladius and the Reclaimer are using stuck loadout. However, the loadout of the target ship won't affect our experiment results since we are focusing on the relationship between mass emission value and the detection range. The diagram is showing above. The first thing we can notice is the maximum detection range is kept at 14.3 to 14.6 km. We suppose this property is used to optimize the server performance. Another thing worth to note is the maximum detection range are related to the pitch angle. However, for Gladius and Arrow case, their maximum detection range is fixed when pitch angle is low. If we plot the pitch angle versus radar constants calculated by different emission values, we can see that at 0 to 15 and 16 to 19 degrees pitch angle, both Gladius and Arrow had a similar radar constant. In the second experiment, we replace the detector with the cutter's black. The reason we replaced Gladius with Cutlass Black is because Cutlass Black is equipped with size 2 radar while Gladius is equipped with size 1 radar according to our side website. In theory, Cutlass Black should have stronger detectability compared to Gladius. The following diagram is the test result. Similar to the experiment 1, the maximum detection range is also kept at 14.3 to 14.6 km. 
If we check the blue curve, we can see that it not only has a longer detection range, but it also has a similar properties of gradius versus gradius detection range test. For pitch angle versus the radar constant diagram, also have a similar result to the experiment one. Radar constants are stable at 0 to 30 and 16 to 90 degrees angles. Same as experiment 3, we replaced the detector for a cutlass black to reclaimer because Reclaimer has the set 3 radar according to the R side west side. In theory, Reclaimer should have a better decadability compared to Gladius and Cutlass Black. The test result of the pitch angle versus detection range diagram is shown above. We can immediately find that the detection range of Gladius measured by Reclaimer is almost the same as the detection range of Gladius measured by Cutlass. If we further investigate the pitch angle versus radar constant diagram of a reclaimer, we can also find that although reclaimer's curve is similar to cutlass black, the stable radar constant of a reclaimer is lower than the stable radar constant of cutlass black. In this final experiment, we replace the target shift from Gladius to Fury, and use Gladius and Cutlass Black as detectors. The difference between Gladius and Fury is the maximum emission value from Gladius is CS, while Fury's maximum emission value is IR. The test result is shown above. As you can see, the maximum detection range is no longer related to the pitch angle. Besides, if we further check the pitch angle versus radar constant diagram, we can find that both the IR radar constant measured by Gladius and the Cutlass Black has constant value of 0.8 and 0.9 respectively. From all the experiments result, we can have three conclusions. By experiment 4, we can know that the detection range equation is true. The detection range equation predicts we should get a constant no matter if we change the parameters aside from the maximum emission value and the radar constant. Also from all experiments, we know that SAS-1 radar has 0.8 radar constant and 0.9 radar constant for the SAS-2 radar. Aside from radar constant with different size radar, we can know another thing. The maximum emission value of a ship is determined by the state of the ship. Take Gladius for example. The maximum emission value of a Gladius is dominated by the IR signal in low pitch angle. However, as the pitch angle increases, the CX signal becomes larger than the IR signal. Hence, after passing the 30 degrees pitch angle, the maximum detection range increases as the pitch angle increases. This logic can also be applied to the IR signal and the EN signal. For example, if you zoom out the quantum drive of your gladius, the EN value will become 13,000. Since the EN value is larger than the CS value, the EN value will replace the CS value in the detection range equation causing the maximum detection range to increase to 10.4 km. Let's take another example. If you remove some of your Gladius components, the IR value of your Gladius will drop down. Since the IR value dominates the maximum emission value at a low pitch angle, you will find that the maximum detection range at 0 degree will also decrease. No, but in a low server FPS server, this thing will make the target pop out your screen more slowly. Yes, 
However, the relationship between background noise and maximum detection range is uncertain. If your ship's maximum emission value is even, then yes. However, if the EM value drops lower than the IR or CS value, turning off more components won't help you decrease your maximum detection range. No, it's broken. If you mean changing components to steel components, no, because they contribute the same IR and EM value as normal components. However, the different type of weapons have different contributions to IR and EM value. In theory, you can find a build that has the smallest contribution to IR and EM value. Saying yes, however, NPC's reaction time is heavily affected by the server performance, so it requires further verification. 